Divata 2 PO101 was designated as Philippines Oscar 101 by AMSAT, the Radio Amateur Satellite Corporation headquartered in Washington, D.C. I have been hearing the FM voice transponder of PO101 occasionally and it has been tough to work this satellite as it is UV satellite with uplink on UHF and downlink on VHF. Unlike the popular amateur radio satellite FM transponder on the space station, which is VU. Occasionally, I have been hearing Morse code, CW like signals on the downlink of PO101. But unlike the CW beacon of Aris, which comes as a modulated signal on the FM downlink, the CW signals on PO101 downlink seem to be carrier switching like the usual CW we send on the HF bands. Usual CW on HF bands will not have an audible tone unless a beat frequency signal is introduced within your receiver. In my yester years of homebrew radios, we would use a beat frequency oscillator which works on a slightly different frequency from the intermediate frequency IF of the radio to produce an audible note when the CW signal is received. In my FT710 radio, I just have to select the CW mode for me to hear the audible tone while receiving a CW signal. Things are quite different in my IC2730, which is FM only. If it was IC705, which is all mode, all band, I think I could have chosen the CW mode and heard the nice CW tone for PO101. But as I was listening with IC2730 with squelch open, I could only hear the change in the received FM carrier when PO101 was transmitting its beacon in CW. Details about the type of beacon transmissions from PO101 is available from the Divata 2 PO101 Amateur Radio Unit Information and Usage page. While the transponder is on FM repeater mode, it sends Morse code CW beacons every 2 minutes and it takes 1 minute to complete. Then there will be 1 minute without a beacon. So, there will be about 5 to 6 CW beacons sent in a typical pass of PO101. Heard that these beacons will not interfere with the use of the FM transponder. Unlike in the case of ARIS, where we stop transmissions as soon as we hear the beacon. But the tone modulated CW on ARIS is not that frequent and you might hear it only once in a pass. When PO101 is in the APRS mode, it sends out packets every 30 seconds and each packet is sent in 1 to 2 seconds. That would mean 20 APRS beacons could be received in a pass. But I have never tried to receive APRS beacons from PO101. When I looked at the details on the CW beacon, 
it is mind boggling and like just the call sign na1ss announced by aris it starts with m a b u h a y underscore p i l i p i n a s underscore d w 4 t a of which the last is the call sign of the satellite that is followed by a string of characters which encodes a lot of information including the status of vhf and uhf antennas battery voltage supply current ambient temperature and many more parameters of course i will not be able to read the full message in a rather fast cw transmission that too without the audio tone in my fm only ic2730 radio at least recording the beacon was an eye opener for me to the amount of information which can be transmitted down by the satellite in its beacon